North Dakota Republican Senator Kevin Kramer joins me. Good evening, sir. And uh, we had hoped that CFIUS, which is this uh, government committee made up from several different branches of government, state, treasury, um, defense, that they would give your state clear direction on this issue about whether uh, this this communist uh, communist China owned business or related mm -hmm. business, Fufang can uh, can build this bill near rough Grand Forks. What's your thoughts, sir? Well, I've come to expect so little from the government, but even even at that standard, this was underwhelming to say the least. That they would sit on this decision for, as you said, a couple of months, maybe close to three months, and then conclude they had, didn't have jurisdiction, which some you know DOJ lawyer probably told them and could have told them in a matter of hours is disappointing. That said, Greta, I've always been opposed to this investment. I remain opposed to this investment. I'm seeking um, intelligence you know, briefings next week from the various agencies that make up CFIUS, and, uh, and I will be able to get uh, classified briefings directly from, hopefully, the Department of Defense, certainly the Department of Treasury, who leads the CFIUS committee, um, and, and try to learn more myself. But at the end of the day, I think the security concerns are, are obvious. We're talking about the you know, the Chinese Communist Party at a time when uh, they have made it very clear that they want to take over more supply chains in the United States. They spy on us. They're, you know, building a super military to rival us. And uh, I just think it's a, a bad idea to invite them into your backyard. You know what's sort of curious about this, at least to me, is that, uh, is that look, whether you're for it or against it, anything, there's, sure. there are odd things. For instance, the governor of your state is in favor of Fufang coming and building this mill. They're, he's in favor of it. And it's within, I don't know, 10 or 20 miles of the uh, Air Force Base there. And, and our show went there and we walked the ground yes. and we took a look at it. Uh, but at the same time, he has banned TikTok from state devices just about a week ago because he says he's worried about national security. So he's worried about national security on government devices, iPhones or whatever, uh, with TikTok, yet he's in favor of this. Can you reconcile that for me? Well, I've not talked to, to Governor Burgum specifically about the TikTok decision. I support the TikTok decision. But all I can say is I think that for a lot of people, there's an evolution of thought on China that is happening, and it's appropriate that it is happening. I've called for a, a strategic decoupling from China now for the last uh, 10 months at least. Uh, I just think that we, we are living in a time, Greta, when us as individuals, as families, as communities, as states, and as, as a nation have to decide whether the, the fun cheap stuff that China provides us, or for that matter, the large investments that they can provide our communities, if it's worth, you know, putting the entire country at risk. I choose to say it is not. And um, I, I think we, we have to take more action that demonstrates that we're going to stand up for American security and independence at a time when China is rivaling us in so many respects, economically, as well as, um, you know, militarily. And we, we just need to be a lot more diligent. You know, I, look, I, I don't get to make the decision on this. I'm not CFIUS. Right. I'm not, you know, on the committee. But I will right. tell you, I mean, I got a copy of the letter from the Department of Treasury in which they say they don't have jurisdiction, which I say they punted. They didn't make a decision, mm -hmm. which would have been enormously helpful. I mean, either, you know, fish or cut bait. But this idea the federal government hands off, we're not going to tell you and leave the problem for North Dakota to fight about. Mm -hmm. But in looking at it, in looking at their um, letter, they said Section 721, that's what this letter they have, it says that, it, um, that they can only review and investigate certain mergers, acquisitions, and takeovers that could result in foreign control of any person engaged in interstate commerce in the United States. I, I read that much more broadly in their authority. I would not have punted. Sure. I'd said, it looks like this is an acquisition. This looks like it's a takeover that could result in foreign control. Fu Fang is a Chinese corporation. Whether, right. whether they, you know, they sh I think they should have taken this matter and then decided Fisher cut bait. But instead, they just punted, and the federal government says, oh, we're not going to get involved in this. Yeah, it's, it's deeply disappointing, to be sure, Greta. I would point you to the top line of that letter, where it lists the, you know, the, the topic, which is Fu Fang, in parentheses, Cayman Islands. If that in and of itself isn't a little bit of a red flag, I don't know what is. But to your point, see, there are a couple of things here. One is that, that traditionally, CFIUS it does not have jurisdiction over specifically agricultural investments. And so so we need to fix that. And there's legislation that, that uh, a couple of people have introduced, particularly, uh, well, hopefully early in the next next Congress now we'll reintroduce it and maybe get something done on both Republicans and Democrats 
think that, that the food supply chain is critical enough that it ought to be under CFIUS review. That's first of all. <clears throat> the other thing, uh, to your point, is they, they list these very specific things. What Fufang is doing is, is not an acquisition um, and it's it's of an existing business, nor nor is it um, you know a, a merger of any type. It's actually a startup. That's if and you don't I you know what. That's, that's if you don't want to decide it. That's if you don't want to decide it. Decide it. If you want to decide, that's you can broadly interpret that. That's I mean. That's right. that, I mean, I looked at that too and thought, well, you know, they're looking at the words very sharply and very narrowly. But they but you know you know if you want to decide this to set some certainty, you know, you could you could expand that definition. And that, that's what I thought that they were doing, actually. When they, especially remember, CFIUS operates in two 45-day tranches, their, their authority. They took the first 45 days and then decided to go another 45 days, which implies that they're actually reviewing it. I personally think, Greta, that there is information that, that some of the agencies glean. That's why I've asked for, for a, a classified briefing from the Treasury Department, which is the head of CFIUS, and from the Department of the Air Force, if not the entire Department of Defense, because you know they're the entities that I'm most concerned about, obviously. And, and uh, hopefully I'll at least learn with my clearance what they learned during this review, my sense is that there are serious concerns. I know there are some serious concerns, right, and well, I, I, while I, I might not be able to share them, I'm going to tell the, you know the state it, what, whatever those concerns are. I won't share the specifics, obviously, but I will share my concern um, with an exclamation point.